Hey, welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. Today, we will tell you what happened with Mullen, some data points, what shorts did, and you should know everything. So, Mullen somehow pulled a rabbit out of its hat and turned green by 2.37%. It's strange because it spiked like this despite no news, no ICC filings, nothing of the sort. At the start of the day, there was some optimism due to the PC numbers, which came later in the day, but perhaps there was more fear about the upcoming essential shutdowns next week, which could harm the market if it happens. However, the volume was generally lower, with 26.5 million shares traded, whereas the average is 46.49 million shares. After the announcement of this lawsuit, the volume has been consistently decreasing. So that's an interesting point to note. Let's talk about options activity. There were $79,000 calls bought, while there were $32,000 puts. Based on this information, there seems to be some optimism for the upcoming week. I'm not entirely sure because technically things are looking a bit shaky after dropping below the 50 cent mark. But perhaps they are waiting for some potential news. I'm not entirely sure. But one thing worth noting is the issue of deliveries. As per the latest news from Mullen, there haven't been any deliveries yet. It was promised that they would be delivered by September 30th. So there is hope that if these deliveries are completed tomorrow, they will be included in the quarterly earnings and in the fiscal year 2023, as Mullen earnings wrap up on September 30th, 2023 for the fiscal year. So those are some specifics about Mullen, which had fallen below the 50 cent mark, meaning that approximately 13,000 options will expire worthless. I have informed you that market makers are trying to exert significant pressure on Mullen and want to push 50 cent mark down to avoid covering their options. This is why you might notice some tension around 50 cent mark, and it's essential to keep an eye on it. But one thing I want to quickly mention is the expiry date of the October 20th options chain. This indicates that many expectations are tied to it. When we look at the strike price of 50 cents, there is $5,000 in open interest. When we look at the dollar mark, there is $10,000. And when we look at $1.50, there is $7,000. This means that many people believe that something significant might happen before October 20th. I believe it's related to NASDAQ compliance because they submitted an appeal letter on September 5th, and the hearing is usually scheduled within 30 to 45 days after the appeal letter, which means it could happen anywhere between October 5th and 20th. It's evident that many people are trading options around this. Apart from this, Today, the transactions in the secondary market are the highest, totaling approximately 1.51 million, with some transactions exceeding $1 million in size. These are estimated transactions because today is the last trading day of the quarter. Therefore, many institutions and ETF that invest in Mullen are rebalancing their portfolios, and these transactions were all purchased based on beta and ask. This means that based on Mullen stock performance, all these transactions were made. It can also be said that if Mullen is part of any ETF weighting, it will participate in this rebalancing. Institutions are increasing their positions and their holdings. Apart from that, today, there was only one transaction in the dark pool, and it amounted to $294,000. So these are some interesting things. Let me tell you what shorts did today. Today, shorts covered approximately 1.2 million shares. The short interest as a percentage of the free float is 19.96% and a total of 34.76 million shares have been shorted. According to Interactive Broker Short Availability, you can short about 650,000 shares if you want to. Please keep in mind that the average cost to borrow for shorting is currently 22.76%. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.